Continuing off of the last video, this tutorial will go over how to write over I2C and read in data from an accelerometer. Return back to the header file and add a macro for control reg1. The register address is OX2A, which is found on page 53 of the datasheet. Next, we will define the addresses for the registers that contain the data. Each axis has 12 bits of data and are split into two respective out MSB and out LSB registers. These addresses start at OX01 and increment by one each time. You can find these values on page 21. Finally, we will add the function prototype for the write register function. Switch over to the .c file. In order to write over I2C, you need to write two values. First, the register address you want to write to, and second, the value you wish to write to the register. So when writing the Excel write reg function, we will be passing in these two aforementioned values as parameters. We will create a write buffer of size 2 that will contain both parameters. Then we will call the I2C master write buff function. The first parameter will be the slave address. The second will be the write buffer. The third will be 2 because two elements are being written. And the mode will be set to complete transfer. As usual, we will add a while loop to check if the write was complete. Lastly, we will just return. Back at the main.c file, we will call our new write function to write OX01 to control reg1. This will set the accelerometer in active mode and enable the sensor to collect data. To really check if the write function works, we'll create two variables that will store the value of control reg1 before and after the write function. The default value of control reg1 is OX00, which means to know if the write function works, when we run debug mode before the write, the value should return OX00, and after the write, it will return what is written, which is OX01. If these values are confirmed, then we know the write function works. Now that the sensor is in active mode, to read in the data, all you need to do is use the read register function to read each axis respective out MSB and out LSB registers. The data read from the registers will be stored into its respective variables declared above. To know if you're reading data properly, run the debug mode and step through to check if the values are changing every time you step through the for loop. Here we can see that the data is changing for each access every time we step over each line of code.
You can also add a breakpoint at the end of the for loop and hit the run button to watch the data refresh. Now you can read in data, but keep in mind these are raw data values, which means conversions will be necessary depending on the current scale and range of the accelerometer.